I live in the storage unit because it's cheap. And can We're going to be diving into this man who we can say, we could say he came and literally ratted himself out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess. Yes, guys. So this guy came on social media to tell us about his housing situation and in a bit we're going to dive in together to watch everything he had to say about his housing situation let's just dive in i live in a storage unit because it's cheap in comparison to an apartment living here is actually really comfortable i get a lot of things that i need and want to get done here i can exercise i can use the bathroom I can play music anywhere in the unit. It's climate controlled in here, so it's nice and warm. This unit is 24 hours, so I can come here anytime I want, stay here as long as I need to. We can take naps if we need to and go to sleep. So this is our living space. Very, very grateful to have this space. The next goal is to get an RV. The next goal after that, tiny home. And if we want to eat, I just cook right out front. Or we'll just prepare something cold inside of the unit. Sandwiches. A lot of times we make salad. If we want to get power, we use our power bank. They also have power here so we can charge our power bank. Me and my baby will live here as long as we need to until we get the shelter that we want. Because we're living here, now we can save up more money to get what we really want. We're in it for the long haul. Thank you for the support. Thanks for- So you guys saw- this case how it was stayed in a storage unit where it's supposed to store stores and he turned it into should we call it a, a home <laughs> but a lot of people had things to say about this a lot of people did not agree some people think that him having a girl there like he was using the girl different people and um different opinions but let's just go listen to what everyone thought about is decision and i will be back so me and my girl testing we trying to figure out if this is like good enough to be sneaky and hide and stuff we're trying to hide this shit that's supposed to be in here but no i don't think we should do it here. We want to let people know that you can get back here. We thinking deep about it. I don't even think it's that deep, but we want to let people know that we can, someone can, is back here. We don't want to be hiding and stuff. Like, like I'm saying in the sense of like, if this was, if this was completely blocked off, then that means someone's behind the boxes. They're from making noise and stuff. Like, you see what I'm saying? We don't want that. We want people to know that, okay, somebody's back there. You can see the gap. They can't see enough to know that somebody's living here. See, see what I mean? If somebody was to come over here, they don't know nothing. They don't know. Moving into our new uh, space, storage. Really? So excited. We can pretty much live in here during the day and then at nighttime, we can't sleep in here. So we gotta go back to the tent. This this storage is right next to our tent. It's amazing. And it's climate controlled. It's um, huge. It's absolutely huge. And we're finally gonna have a space to set up all our nice stuff. Cause we do have nice stuff. We just don't have anywhere to put it. This is nice. This is going to be our little room. Big room compared to the tent. I'm tired. You ready to get this last room? My tomato. A little bit. <laughs> I haven't wanted ice water so bad in my life. 
I just want some ice water. Hey, show your bottles of water today. Taking all of this stuff out of our tent, put it into this new storage, and we're tomorrow gonna... we're gonna go get the stuff out of the other storage unit to take it to Goodwill. The way that man justified and or gaslighted us to think him living in that storage unit was okay. He showed you the amenities to his crib. He said the bathroom, anybody could use. It's for the public. He said this is the recreational room running up and down that hallway like he wasn't supposed to do that. Knowing he might get evicted from his storage unit if he got caught. He said electricity is free. Hot food, no problem. Cold food, not an issue. The best part, there was a girl in his bed. There was a girl over, knocked out on the couch. Ladies, a man asks you, hey, can you go get me some food? You talk about some no. There's a woman out there who'll do it, especially if she's willing to sleep in a storage unit. Fellas, if we learn one thing from that video, you're not asking for too much. You are not asking for too much. If she says she too bougie to go to the Cheesecake Factory, just know there's a woman that's out there that's going to love you, even if you're living in a storage unit. The man living in that storage unit with his girlfriend or wife, y'all can't ever say that women don't like broke men because they'll be right back there with y'all. <laughs> smiling back there like a ventriloquist dummy in a storage unit talking about oh this is why i exercise <laughs> and i'm not even making fun because i know people's situations are bad but the thing is people it's probably people living in that place and hear him saying that and are thinking you are gonna mess it up for everybody in here I know some people are just wait, oh, staying in there to save up their money so that they, they can find another apartment. And you're just over here grandstanding, going up front to cook your meats, telling telling the whole world what you do. And there are people who own the storage units who know people are living in there and they look the other way. Because you pay your rent on time and you're not doing anything crazy. You're not, you are blasting loud music in the hallway. And, cook, and cooking hot dogs out, out front. And that lady in the back with him sleeping on that couch. You make it so easy. You make it so easy. And what happens when you get caught and they check all the, the storage units? It really ain't fair. Like, stop video recording. Thing. I'm mad old. Stop recording everything and posting it on the internet. That man who lived in the storage unit is seven years older than that woman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven years old. Oh, what if they both in their thirties and like, it's not that big of an age range. Um, hmm, he's 28, which makes her- She is 21 years old. Frontal lobe mush, okay? I recognized how much he lacked caring for her when he posted that video because obviously he's putting their living situation in danger that was already on edge right but even going down to the details of the video where he's bragging i could do this i could do that and he walks in the storage unit and she sleep on the couch looks up confused and looks crazy he didn't let her know he was filming mm -hmm. and then he posted it i really mean this young woman this is not me talking about i've never been here i will never be here again so listen to me i am 32 right okay if you are in my bad i press the button if you are in your 20s and a man that is in his he got six seven years on you and up and his life is in shambles ah oh, man like oh, nobody there for me you the only one there for me you you i, I always depend on you you down for me ask why mm -hmm. why don't you have no friends or why don't your friends help you what is going on with your family? Because family do be trash sometimes. And other times, mm, look up. See what's going on in that family situation too. Because sometimes it's him. And also that you're the only one there for me when a man says that to you. Sometimes it unfortunately turns into him only being the one there for you. Right? Flips it on you. Was it triangulate triangulation? Like sectioning you off from your own people. Chain a storage unit. And now a tent in the snow with this man seven years older than her i don't know her story i don't know her family life but this is to anyone else who has been like well i'm gonna be down for this man that's significantly older than me because life has treated him so hard he has seven years over you 
to try to get his life together, okay? And you still gotta like really think, why are people your age, why are women your age not helping you? Would a woman your age be down for you as I'm down for you? Also, I think a big portion is him in her ear, like, oh, we can finesse these people for money. Because, like, if you go back, they rented a Tesla to fry shrimp in the back of the trunk. And he tried to justify how he was saving money with an electric car. But, like, everybody in the comments was trying to do the math for him, trying to help him. And I was like, no, he knows. He knows. So, I do recognize that <laughs> he's in her ear, obviously. But I, And I'm not saying she's completely innocent. But seven years. When I say don't record yourself doing a crime... Edit the video, put commentary, and post it online. Y'all just be ignoring me. Y'all just keep scrolling. It's, it's evident. Every video on this app, I'm scrolling. And I see a video of a man living in a storage unit. The fact that you live in a storage unit is A-OK -okay by me. I don't see... Some call you a trespasser. I call you a financial planner, if you will. Uh, but one thing, one thing, baby, you can't live in a storage unit. It is unlawful in, in, in most, if not every state, to live in a storage unit. You see what I'm saying? So I just, I watched the video and I, and I was perplexed because I felt like you had a great plan. Excellent plan. You're going to live in that storage unit. You got your food. You got your, I saw you do a little cartwheel. You got your exercise. You got your girl with you. You're saving money. You stack it up until you can buy a place, but then you posted it on the internet. And, and, and had you posted that and you were on Ellen the next day and it really put you into a whole nother level of money and checks and notoriety and sponsorships, I'll shut the fuck up. I, zoop, shut the fuck up. But from what I saw, the person got evicted. So that's the thing. I want us to just, if we're doing something, and maybe you didn't know it was unlawful, baby. And maybe you didn't know, but it is. So I just want us all to take this lesson. Take heed. Stop recording yourself doing shit you ain't supposed to be doing and posting it online. That's it. That's all. But you don't got to take my word for it. <laughs> yeah, who am I? So after listening to what everyone had to say, it's only fair to say that sometimes people talk too much when it comes to social media. I feel like there are certain things that should be kept. Now, because this guy was not wise enough to keep quiet, and decided to open his mouth and come rat himself out. This was what happened to him. Let's see that clip, okay, together. So we got kicked out of our storage unit. The higher ups found out about my video and went so viral. We ended up getting kicked out. Now we're just trying to figure out where to go and what we're gonna do with all of our stuff. We're gonna have to get a new storage unit. So yeah, we got kicked out. We just don't know what to do right now we're trying to figure it out it's a lot it's a lot of uncertainty we can't live here anymore and we can't make videos in here anymore now all we have is a tent and it's freezing cold outside can't live in a storage unit anymore figured i was gonna get kicked out but i'm willing to take risks you know have a crazy come up a great come up and it was a risk i was willing to take it so i can get out of here now we got a free hotel after getting kicked out of the storage unit now we got a free hotel it's so cold outside we don't have to stay outside in the cold not only can we get out of the cold for the weekend but we can also use this time to figure out what we're gonna do next where we're gonna put our storage at and who we can call to help us we're also gonna be making a lot of money moves while we're here and making some content for you guys so yeah stay, stay tuned posted. so guys you heard him there they got kicked out of the storage unit if only he had kept quiet now that is not what is appalling to people a lot of people are you know feeling like the fact that the girl you know stayed with him that a girl will stay with a broke guy anytime any day and other people are of the opinion that there's nothing wrong with him stay with a you know storage unit probably that was just the situation they are going through as at that time but it can always be worked out like if they had kept quiet, they could have always sorted out their situation later. But this story dies way more deeper than what you guys are seeing right now. Because yes, they finally got help. Someone paid for them to stay in an hotel for a couple of days. But I'll be coming back with an updated story about this couple because it doesn't just end here. But you can feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you guys think? Do you think he did nothing wrong for coming out to talk about his housing situation? He did nothing wrong. It's fine. But do you think that? Or do you think, oh, um, the girl staying with him, being a boyfriend or a girlfriend to that kind of guy who, I mean, like, stays in that kind of place? Or do you think, well, there's nothing wrong with what the girlfriend is doing? Okay, she believes in a man.
and they're probably going to make it work out. What do you think? Okay, please leave your thoughts in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.